ಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮತ್ಯಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ವೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಮೃಣಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀಧ್ಯಂ ಕರಭಾವಹಿ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತುಮಾವಿದ್ಯುಷಾ ವಹೀತಿ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಜ ಮೂಢಮತೆ ವರ್ಷ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ದಿನೀನ ಸಾಂ ಪ್ರಾತ ಶಿಶಿರವಸಂತ ಪುನರಾತ ಕಾಲ ಕ್ರೀಡತಿ ಗಚ್ಛತ್ಯು ತದಿ ನ ಮುಂಚತ್ಯಾಶವಾಯು ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಜ ಮೂಢಮತೆ ಕಾತೆ ಕಾಂತ ಹನಗತ ಚಿಂತ ಬಾತುಲ ಸಾರಿ ಬಾತುಲ ಕಿಂ ತವ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ನಿಯಂತ ತ್ರಿಜಗತಿ ಸಜ್ಜನ ಸಂಗತಿ ರೇಖ ತ್ರಿಜಗತಿ ಸಜ್ಜನ ಸಂಗತಿ ರೇಖಿ ಭವಾರ್ಣವತರಣೆ ನೌಕಾ ಭವತಿ ಭವಾರ್ಣವತರಣೆ ನೌಕಾ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಜ ಮೂಢಮತೆ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಜ ಮೂಢಮತೆ ಆಜ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ that let us not develop any pride with reference to our wealth our people or with reference to our youth but that is not business and social status kunya avarino kitto kitto stage business position no wakatta nanu because at any moment it may go away or we may lose everything that means it is better not to get associated with this temporary fragile or momentary things is better to get associated with one's own self which we discussed in details that me is nothing but god so stay with us too kavi dear to you and to you from the absolute standpoint i am god 
and there is no difference between me and God. From the body and mind standpoint, of course, I can do hundred times namaskaram, salutations to the God to seek blessings. And the most important factor is the understanding what we have, we need to get committed to. If we don't get committed to the teaching or the understanding, we are not going to enjoy anything in our lives. Because it's not like information oriented that we have discussed in details. Let me also spare some time regarding this. Because this is something about me, myself and that to my habitual error. It's like it is very easy to convince others, but it is too difficult to convince one's own self. I have noticed like if the child is scared of, let us say, uh, spider, the mother will convince, eh, nothing is there, nothing is there, but deep within mother will be scared of same spider. So to convince others is very easy and to convince one's own self is very difficult but that can happen when there is commitment towards understanding. But why does this commitment does not happen? What is the reason behind it? This is the verse now says Dina Yamino Sayam Prataha Shishira Vasanto Punrayata Kala Kridati Gachati Ayu Tadabina Munchati Asha Vayu. If we observe all of us we know. Time comes, time goes. The calendar keeps changing. That's why every year you replace one more calendar. 2012 got over, now 2013. This 2013 also will be replaced very soon. Again, 2014 will come, that also will be replaced. An interesting thing happens in the new year. This is what I have observed people. And in my childhood also I have observed myself. Called a new year resolution. But how long does it continue? <laughs> Everybody, I remember in my childhood, I had also made New Year resolution. Okay. <laughs> it was not that easy to keep the resolution on. <laughs> I am just trying to say uh, one incident. Actually, I thought uh, it took me, I think, two years uh, that I decided every day I must write the diary what I have done, what I have not done, and let me be true to myself. After one month, I dropped. So, 
But I remember after two years, one year I decided, no, I must, whatever situation may be. And I was really surprised, I could complete happily and it, it was very comfortable, very convenient. And after that, I stopped writing diary because I completed one year, from that day, that year onwards, I have never used the diary. <laughs> What I am trying to highlight here is, once a person decides at no time I am not willing to compromise or I am not willing to go back from my words, then you will discover that the commitment towards your words, commitment towards your resolution or commitment towards your understanding will take place. That's why it's being highlighted here, even though people they know that there is something called after morning, evening comes, again evening goes away. After, after the day, night comes, again night goes. Week comes, again goes. Month comes and goes. Different type of season like autumn and other things come, also they do go. Still. We don't understand that time is keep changing, keep flowing. We never flow with time or we never try to adjust, accommodate ourselves and others in time. If you observe yourself, the way you were in five years back, now the way you are, is there any difference or not? There is difference or not? Definitely. I don't know whether in your thinking difference is there or not, but definitely in your body appearance there is difference. <laughs> now, just ask yourself, when you are changing, but in front of you, if someone changes not according to you, can you adjust, can you accommodate that person? You will, I know you will start nodding your head. <laughs> sometimes yes, sometimes no. Look, you are changing, but you are not willing to accept other change. Is it right? Then the question may arise, why I am not, even though I do change, but still why I am not able to accept others change? Because it gives the logic here, we hold on to our hopes. When we hold on to our hopes and always we would like to live in our fantasy or world of desire and when we are holding on to our desires or hopes I hope everybody must work based on my hope. Yeah, work or move or change, behave. 
注意の物事もまた私たちの思い通りに動いていってほしいというふうに大事です。But I forget this is a hope. 問題はこれが単なる期待に過ぎないということを忘れてしまう。And finally, what happens to my hope? そうすると最終的にはどうなるかというと、This is very nice way. Everybody hopes a lot in the beginning stages. Uh, recently, in fact, I was talking to、um, one girl, and、uh, as usual, I must bring some change, the girl was saying. I'll go back from India and I'll try to understand the origin of my country. And I must do something for the country. Yes. And who is talking? Completely confused t h e r Really confused. <laughs> and I have to tell her, don't worry. After a few days, few months, or few years, everything will. Go down, you will be okay. Now you are not okay, that time you will be okay. Now at present you are not okay. The way you are talking, you are not okay. But don't worry, your hopes, your everything will go down. <laughs> Because We have some imaginations without understanding our potentiality and the situations. We hope a lot and we jump a lot, and finally, what happens to? That's why it is better to be a practical person than living in this fantasy world. And here, when the person is not able to give up, not able to grow out of one's own hope or desire, but expects that everybody must cooperate with me, everybody must change with me, or everybody must accommodate me, that person cannot survive or cannot become happy in this world. Actually, if you observe, why we develop stress? This is one of the major points. Then you may say, no, no. It's not right. Whatever you are saying is not right. Actually, because we work a lot, that's why stress is more. I will not agree with you. If I look at myself, I think I am working much more than any corporate person or anybody. And I will give you the beautiful examples related to this. Let us say a person is swimming. I am giving a swimming example. Because why I am giving a swimming and that w a n a running water? When you are swimming in a running water, You love swimming and you are swimming. But you don't like to swim, but you have to swim. Now, even though action is the same, water is the same, or flow is the same, who will have stress? Let 
get the point there are two people one loves to swim but one does not want to swim but because of the pressure maybe needs some money if he swims gets money or something or other and has to swim for that sake mostly no among these two who will have stress while swimming the one who is not willing to swim still he is forced to swim so also we so also we people I will give you another beautiful example. Let me share a story. There was a sadhu who used to clean the temple every day. And he was very famous, he was very known because he cleans the temple but he never gets angry. The king got this news and king thought it is impossible. How is it possible that person never gets angry? Because this is our problem. The way I am, I look at others in the same angle. If I am an angry person, I think everybody is embodiment of anger. The way I am, I always project in others. However, the king said, okay, I want to test this person, this sabu. And sends one soldier, and that particular uh, sorry soldier, not soldier, <laughs> sends one soldier and asks that soldier, look, your job is when this sadhu kills, you have to make that. <laughs> Now every time this person cleans and this soldier comes and makes it dirty, makes it dirty. This sadhu also happily again brings water and cleans. And time came, this soldier got tired, got fed up and frustrated with this action. And meanwhile, the news reached to the king and the king came to see the sadhu. And he was asked, what made you not to get angry because you are cleaning and he is making dirty? That way you know this person is doing intentionally. In spite of that, what made you not to get angry? The sadhu replied very beautifully. My job is to keep this place clean. My job is not just to sweep and leave the place. When my job is to play, keep the place clean, anytime anybody makes dirty, I have to keep doing it. And moreover, when I look at this, I learnt this thing 
Each time when I clean this place, I go to this nearby river and fetch, bring some water from the river. But when I go to bring the water from the river, river has never said me, hey, last time you took and you clean and it is wasting, that fellow is coming and jumping, making dirty and again you are, why are you wasting my water? Neither river says, nor anybody says, then why should I get angry and say that, look, I cleaned, why is making? Why I am cleaning? Is it necessary for me to ask? And moreover, if I don't engage myself in this activity, what I do? I will just keep sitting here doing nothing. How long I can do this? At least it is better to do what to do, what to be done rather than allowing one's own self to do what not to be done. Now let us look at ourselves. Whenever we do something, do we do because we are supposed to do or we love to do or we are forced to do? If little bit freedom is being given, if little bit choice is being given, will you do? That means what? If little bit choice is being given, freedom is being given and you don't do, that means really if you do those sort of work or activities. That will create stress in your life. And always the stress is related to the hope, the imagination, the fantasy that you have. More you are attached, more you are stuck with your fantasy, hope, the more you will have stress in your life. And let us look at now next. <laughs> or, or else what will happen is, I will <laughs> keep going and going. The verse number 13. Kate kanta dhanagata chinta batula kimtava nasti niyanta. You want to chant so that mind becomes a little different, okay? Bajago vindam, bajago vindam. Govindam bhajamuda mate Kate kanta dhanagata chinta Vatu lakim tavana astiniyanta Trijagati sajjana sangati reka Trijagati sajjana sangati reka Bhavati bhavar navatarane nauka Bhavati bhavar navatarane nauka Bhavati Bhava Bhavar Nava Tarani Nauka Bhavati Bhavar Nava Tarani Nauka Better Bhavati Bhavar Nava Tarani Nauka Bhajago Vindam Bhajago Vindam 
गोविंदम भज मूढ़मते गुड आई होप यू विल स्टार्ट सिंगिंग व्हेन यू गो बैक एट लीस्ट सो इन द ही टू स्टार्ट सिंगिंग इन द फ्लाइट देयर इज अ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग no problem this is a beautiful thing again to notice here if we observe ourselves we always hold on to something or other and always we hold on to something or other based on our hope fantasy or desire so wherever i project my security there i am stuck or there i am sold i am sold i am sold means i am totally uh, into that Okay, once more. Uh, once more, I am saying. Leave it. I'll, I'll uh, rephrase the whole thing. Wherever I project my security, there I am stuck. Interestingly, as I said you that. wherever i project my security it's a projection security need not to be there and after some time when i realized that really that is not the point of my security it was my projection already i was stuck or i was totally attached suddenly i have to leave everything and walk out I'll give you the best example about this teenager's love. During teenage time, every boy or girl, whomsoever she is, oh, he or she is my perfect. soulmate or friend or whatever i'm sorry <laughs> because being a teenager is in the fantasy world so whatever he or she imagines if someone fits according to the imagination the person jumps straight away so Then after that, what happens? I made a mistake. <laughs> Does it happen or not? That's what the teenage love. So you don't say any more than that. I won't say teenage love. Call teenage infatuation. Infatuation. They don't love. They infatuate. They get infatuated. Now, when a teenager gets infatuated. as a father as a mother or as a guardian you will try your level best to protect or you will try to convince the child so now let us look at ourselves are we not sometimes infatuated like a teenager We may not be infatuated with another man or woman, but we are infatuated with reference to power, position, money, house, car. Now, if any elderly person sees us, or any emotionally matured person sees us, will that person laugh at us or not? 
それを、例えば、高齢の人より、年配で、成熟した人が、こんな私たちを見たら、それを、好ましいと思うでしょうか。That's why when I see some so-called successful person, honestly telling you, I really laugh at with him. Of course, I don't laugh at them directly. で、明かりして、いわゆる成功した人。というのは、私はあえてその人たちのことを笑おうと思う。I try to see the sense of insecurity in the person. Maybe the person is really achieved man of achievement, man of success. But if the person is insecure deep within, what is the use of success or achievements? I would like to highlight this point here. When you become successful outwardly, that success has no meaning for you. But it has got everything for others. The more you become successful outwardly, the more benefit goes to your relatives or those who are related to you. And the more you have to pay for it. And it's unfortunate thing that the people nowadays are crazy. To have outwardly success rather than discovering success within. That's why, in the world, if you observe in the name of advancement or in the name of technology and other things, people are crazy. I, I use the word called crazy. To achieve success outwardly. Nothing wrong in it. But not losing inner peace or losing the success within. That's why anytime if you want to have success first, give emphasis or try to have the inner success rather than outwardly success. Whenever you achieve any sort of success, please ask yourself, are you really a successful person because you are Or because others say that you are a successful person. Because others say that you are a successful person, or when you compare yourself with others, you feel you are better, that's why you consider you are a successful person. Actually, this sort of success is not going to be helpful in, to you in the long run. That's why it's very beautifully be saying, beautifully it is being said. When I really look at outwardly success, always I am related to others or I am depending upon others. And I get worried about others. It's like, suppose I am thinking that my success is completely depend upon the computer. Now what will happen? I'll make sure that computer has to be in front of me all the time. 
If the computer is some other place, my mind will be always with the computer or not. Where is it? Is it in safe place or not? Is it okay or not? You get the point? Now let us look at here. If you look at our day to day life, we really spend a lot of our time thinking of our wife or husband. Children, father or mother, anybody is related to us. Or with reference to wealth, power, position. Now tell me, are we not mad? He used the word Bhatula. Bhatula means Bhatula. Bhatula means the one who is really mad. In it, Tamil what is a Because if we observe this thing, okay, I don't want to say mad or disturbed one, it's a better word. <laughs> the one who is really disturbed. I don't know whether you have come across any mad person or not, but I have spent little time with the mad people, okay? Because basically, I was a mad person, because I was called a mad person. <laughs> In my teenage time, I was called a mad. Because all my friend circles and everybody say, are you mad or what? <laughs> hey, enjoy your life, do whatever you want, what, what are you doing? This is not right. <laughs> In their eyes I was mad, but honestly telling you, I liked it, I enjoyed my madness. <laughs> Oh, so when you spend little time with the mad people, if you talk to them nicely, you will discover they are really not mad. In fact, they are more intelligent. They think they are right and everything is right to them. And if you look at them from their standpoint, they are really right, they are not wrong at all. If this is the case, let us look at ourselves. We think whatever we are thinking, we are right. Our behavior is perfectly right. But what other think of us? They may not express. But they will say. Understand now the logic here? So, so if a person thinks of too much about wife or husband, children, family or about wealth, name or fame. That means the person is insecure and is seeking some type of solace upon others. Because don't waste your time thinking on this thing because there is something called God or the one who is really ruling over everything. Don't worry, he will take care of it, everything. Why are you so much worried about others and yourself? Just relax, just allow the time to pass. 
because even if you don't allow still the time will pass so you know what if the river is flowing you may be able to stop the water for timing but i'm sure you cannot stop the water forever and that's why kavano mikro kono ishi kishomeru koto wa desu e ni kavano mikro koto wa desu nai no koto so also if you observe yourself you may be able to stop somebody or something for timing but can you or will you be able to stop forever that's a learn to relax just allowing it to the god or let the god take care of it and once you allow that god to come in your life you will start discovering that my wife my husband or my children are not everything but there is something where i can rely upon as we discussed earlier my shock observer And interestingly, if you look at this way, there is only one thing which will make you to cross the ocean of samsara, ocean of change, or ocean of problem. That is only one thing that took three jagati in this three world. Sajjana Sangati Eka, Eka means alone, only this one exists, that is called being associated or company, company of good people or being associated with the good people. That means more you are associated with good people, more you are in safe place, safe. You will discover yourself, just observe this note, whenever you are doing, going to do some bad thing or you are going to get caught in a bad network, without your knowledge you will try to hate, you will try to not listen to good people. The moment you are away from the good people, automatically bad people will come in. I will give you a beautiful example, please understand this point. This is one of the Jain story. Yeah. So let me share now. <laughs> uh, there was a student who was uh, learning under a teacher, a Jain master. After studying for 12 years, the master said, look, now your study is going to come to an end. But however, you need to have some final touch. And for the final touch, I am not the person, there is another guru. And and you have to be with him and learn the final teaching. Now this boy thought, look, I studied under this great master and he says he is not the final guru, another guru is there. That means that guru must be really, really big. Now he is not interested to listen to this guru, now his mind is in other guru.
and when time comes now this guru gives the address and everything to meet this other guru to his surprise he discovered going there that the, this guru this new guru is a waiter uh, sorry is a housekeeping person in a star hotel and he said what this i thought the guru means must be in a monastery or maybe is coming and staying in the star hotel <laughs> but guru is a housekeeping person in a star hotel and that why i'll accept him as my guru But because Guru has sent, he went and prostrated and asked, okay, I have come because my teacher has sent. Yes, yes. And he also said in reply, yes, yes, I know, please be with me. Reluctantly, he stayed with him for two days. After that, he thought maybe this guru will teach something, but nothing would teach him, nothing happened. Because as this guru is busy in his way. <laughs> He got fed up and came back to the old guru. And said, Oh Guru, you sent me to such a person. If you wanted to punish me, you could have sent me some other place, not to him. But the Guru said, no, whatever I did, that is right, oh, again you have to go back. Because he has to teach you finally, but observe whatever he says and whatever he does. He is the right person for you to give you final touch. Without any choice, this person, this young man goes back again, starts observing him, what he is doing. One day, to his surprise, he noticed something. In a one particular room, which was not used yesterday, but it was being cleaned by him. Again, next day, even though it was not used, not occupied by any guest, still, he started cleaning the room. This young man said, Sir, is it necessary to clean? Nobody has used, everything is clean. That to star hotel, everything is closed, no dust, nothing. Why are you wasting? Why are you wasting time? Please, let us stop it and let us go away. Now this guru nicely takes one glass from that room. And so look, look at this glass. Is it clean or not? She says, of course it is clean. Again he takes a tissue paper and wipes properly and shows. Is there any dust in this tissue paper or not? We think there is no dust, there is no dirt, but still there is a dirt. And that is what our life. Mind is like dirt. If you don't take care of the mind, 
any moment it will pick up different type of adult different type of thinking other prashno ukoro mata ki nindo hoike agena ki chirad chirad no uchi ni yogore iroira ga shikou to iru shikou ya kanjo to iru nama no yogore ga kiki you may think your mind is perfect like a clean glass but already that is coming and without your knowledge you will discover the mind will be covered with a thick of coating that's why keep cleaning how to keep cleaning only association with the good people because when you are associated with the good people whether you like it or not that person will influence your way of thinking your way of living and your way of everything without your knowledge you will discover just being with the person you will discover your mind is becoming okay that's why not only in india in your country also it is a custom that once in a while go and meet monk and pay respect even if you learn or don't learn because nowadays in your country people are not going to the monastery they are going to the pub and other places if i am right <laughs> So there is no more tea ceremony. There is only alcohol ceremony or Pepsi ceremony. <laughs> It is a very unfortunate thing now. Really, I am sorry. However, here just being with good people, you will discover your way of thinking will be changing or will be influenced. That's why whenever you find time, please try to spare some time to be associated with good people in your life. Very nicely, I'll give you how this satsang really plays a big role. Being associated with good people plays a big role in life. Have you ever seen snake and mongoose fight? Not in the movies, okay? <laughs> If you observe this snake and mongoose, really this fight is very interesting fight. Mango will not leave the snake, and snake also will not leave the mango. And that is what we all are. Okay? We don't want to leave this world, nor this world is going to leave us. Now, when this fight is continuing, you will. you will discover this mango will irritate the snake and snake also get irritates and will start biting sometimes first it will bite few times on the ground so that mango will be away and then mango will attack the snake and again few second again snake will start getting irritated and bite this mango and when mango gets really tired because of the snake poison so snake 
will go away sometime. Somewhere it will go away. Few minutes or few seconds, Mongo will go somewhere, some hole or something, and again will come back. <laughs> And they say, the mongo before fighting with a snake makes sure there is some herb in the hole and goes there to smell or bite that thing and again comes back again to fight. Or else the mongoose will be dead. Each time you will discover mongoose will go away, again will come back. And after a long fight, you will discover mongoose will kill the snake into pieces. Even if the most poisonous cobra or king cobra will be dead by a mongoose. Now let us look at ourselves. We also do go, come across this set of problem in our life. We need also behave like a monk. Once in a while you get into the hole, have some satsang, be associated with the people, get charged, again get back to the world. Now all of you are in the hole. <laughs> so having some <laughs> harm. <laughs> so after going back again you will be more energetic to fight with the snake. Our problem. And remember, whenever you are tired, not that you should find a time, no. Whenever you are tired, tired, please try to find some time for yourself or look for some herbs. Or else you will be killed by snake. It is your choice to be killed by snake or to kill the snake. Or if you want to put in straight language whether you want to be buried inside your problem or you want to come out of your problem. It is your choice. With this verse, Shankaracharya actually completes, this is what as I told you is attributed to Shankaracharya. With this verse, he stops writing. Yeah. Earlier, because this 12 verse and the first one put together 13 verses. So, this 12 verses name was called Moha Mudgara. Moha means the delusion. It works like a hammer on your delusion. Moha Mudgara. Mudgara means a hammer. I think I have used a few hammers on you. <laughs> so you can think, see that like all your thinking, your moha delusion or whatever you think it was right has been really hammered very carefully. And some people they say it's called Dvadasa Panjarika, means 12 stanzas written by Adi Sankaracharya. Uh, no, uh, yeah. 
Exactly. Now, after this, with Adi Shankaracharya, some of his disciples were following. They also got inspired to write one one verse. So each one of them has written one one verse. Now let us read and we'll stop. Bajago Bindam, Bajago Bindam. Govindam Bhajamudha Mate Jatilo Mundi Lunchita Keshaha Kashayambara Bahukruta Vesha Kashayambara Bahukruta Veshaha Pashyanna Pichana Pashyati Mudha Yudara Nimitam Bahukruta Veshaha Yudara Nimitam Bahukruta Veshaha Jatilo Mundi Lunchita Keshaha Kashayambara Bahukruta Veshaha Pashyanna Pichana Pashyati Mudha Yudara Nimitam Bahukruta Veshaha Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Govindam Bhaja Mudha Mate Thank you.